Another day, another story. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, where we explore the mysteries of the universe and the latest developments in science and technology. Today, we're going to take a look at the future of the universe, and what it might hold in store for us. The night sky is one of the most beautiful things in the world. The stars and galaxies have been there for billions of years, and they will be there long after we are gone. The night sky has always been a source of fascination and mystery for humanity. We can't help but wonder about our place in the universe. What is out there? How did all this happen? What will happen to us? We are constantly looking up at the stars and wondering if we are alone in this universe. Will we ever find life on other planets or meet aliens from another galaxy? The night sky is a source of fascination and mystery for humanity, yet one of the most beautiful things in the world. As we all know, the universe is constantly expanding, and scientists have made some incredible predictions about what will happen to it over the next few billion years. But before we get into that, let's take a quick look at the history of the universe, and how we came to understand its evolution. The universe began with the Big Bang, which occurred around 13.8 billion years ago. This was the moment when all of the matter and energy in the universe was concentrated into a single, incredibly dense point. The Big Bang Theory is a scientific theory about the origin of the universe. It was first proposed by Georges Lemaitre in 1931, and then refined by Edwin Hubble in the late 1920s. The Big Bang Theory predicts that the universe began with a rapid expansion from an extremely dense and hot state, and continues to expand today. This theory is supported by many observations from physics, astronomy, and cosmology. These include measurements of cosmic microwave background radiation CMB, which has been interpreted as evidence for the Big Bang, measurements of Hubble's law, which has been used to measure distances to galaxies and therefore supports an expanding universe, observations of distant supernovae indicating their light has been stretched due to cosmic inflation, measurements of matter density throughout space suggesting that it is nearly uniformly distributed and therefore consistent with a universal expansion, and various other astronomical observations such as, redshift quantization, galaxy clustering, distribution of matter on large scales, gravitational lens. Over the next few million years, the universe expanded rapidly, and the first galaxies and stars began to form. These galaxies grew and collided, creating new stars and planets, and giving rise to the vast complex structure of the universe we see today. Now, Let's fast forward to the present day, where we have a much better understanding of the universe and its evolution. One of the key factors that determines the future of the universe is the amount of dark matter and dark energy it contains. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that doesn't interact with light, but it's thought to make up around 85% of the universe's mass. It's what helps hold galaxies together, and without it, they would simply fly apart. Dark energy, on the other hand, is a force that seems to be pushing the universe apart. It's thought to make up around 70% of the universe, and it's what's causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. The combination of these two forces is what determines the future of the universe, and there are a few possible scenarios that scientists have predicted. One of the most likely possibilities is that the universe will continue to expand at an accelerating rate, with the galaxies moving further and further apart. This would eventually result in a phenomenon known as cosmic inflation, where the universe becomes so large that it's essentially empty, with only a few isolated galaxies. A parallel universe is a hypothetical self-contained separate reality coexisting with our own. The idea of a parallel universe can be seen as a way to explain the cause of the quantum wave collapse and the results of quantum mechanics. There are multiverse theories that propose that there are infinite universes, each existing in its own space and time, but they all interact with one another. The simulation hypothesis is the argument that reality, or at least some aspects of it, are simulated in a virtual reality computer system, or perhaps even on another planet. And is one of the potential explanations for the Fermi paradox. Doubt the simulation argument is a form of the grandfather paradox, because the simulation hypothesis can be thought of as a what-if? Scenario that is based on the premise that reality is in some sense computer-generated, the multiverse is the universe or group of universes that make up everything that exists, every person, place, object and thought. The multiverse consists of innumerable universes within the same spacetime continuum. Some multiverse theories suggest there are infinite universes, 
while others claim there to be an infinite number of parallel realities. Many theories claim the multiverse has no boundaries at all, in other words, it's unfathomably vast and includes not just this one universe but all potential universes. The universe is an amazing place. It is so vast that it's hard to wrap our heads around the size of it. We are just a small speck in this vastness and we are trying to understand what is out there. We have been able to explore the surface of Mars, but we haven't been able to explore deep space like we would like to. The universe is something that has always fascinated us and it will continue to do so for many years to come. Thanks for watching.